But where is Goal? What the? Hey, what are you doing? Gizmo! Look at you! Finally, I brought you to justice. What is that supposed to mean? It's me, Rufus. I know. And believe me, it was not easy to solve this case. The case of your missing IQ? No, I'm talking about a series of crimes that have been committed this very morning. Ever since that girl appeared, our community has been in turmoil. Arson, sabotage, disrespectful behavior toward the authorities. You don't have any proof of any of that, you stupid idiot. Theft. I'm innocent. Yeah, okay, let me rephrase that. If I am guilty of any crime at all, then that crime is love. Everything I did, I did for goal. Where is she, by the way? Has she gained full consciousness yet? No, but she needed more room. She's with Mr. Wenzel. What? That treacherous toad? That's unfair. I found the Elysian. Me! It was me! Who found the Elysian? Uh... Wenzel found the Elysian. It was Wenzel, none other than him. Excuse me, but who are you? My name is Argus, Bailiff Argus, Organon Prime Administration. Ooh, the prime authority in my office. And I forgot to brush my teeth. How can I be of help, Bailiff? I heard you have an Elysian woman in custody. These are community matters. Is that so? Interesting. What if an Organon search party was to reduce your community to rubble? Would that be community matters as well? <laughs> Don't let him threaten you, Gizmo! The girl is with Mr. Wenzel! Gizmo, no! You'll find his house below the water tank, right next to the town gate. Thank you, Inspector! You just saved your community a lot of suffering. Yeah, really, well done! Shut up! It's the last tree left. I hope it doesn't croak. I mean, where would I test my herbicides? What? What was that sound? How about emergency? Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. What happened? Where's the fire? Oh, Mr. Firefighter, my poor kitty climbed up the tree and she's afraid to come down. Don't worry, madam. I'm a professional. Come. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Genius prevails. <laughs> There's no turning back. I need to find gold before this Argus does. Wenzel! Rufus! What... What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Ha! You know very well what I'm doing here. Where is she? Rufus, please, let me explain. No, you spineless traitor! It's not what you think. We'll see about that. Ah! Tony? You? What are you doing here? Me? I don't know. Finally at a loss for words? I don't believe it. But I don't care what you think, there is an easy explanation for all this. What? No! no. I, I don't even want to know. I, I don't even remember asking. Keep your gross secrets to yourselves. I just want to know where Goal is. Who's Goal? Oh, so your little lover boy here didn't tell you about his other conquest. Conquest? Wenzel, what is he talking about? Why are you dressed like that? Well, um, I thought... Ugh. And who the heck is Goal? No one, really. I mean, she's not even working properly. What the... Where is she, Wenzel? I put her in the basement. In the basement? Well, I see that you two have a lot to talk about. Have fun. Gold! Wardrobe, you small. Just be small. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. I I'll get you out of here. Open up! Organon! But you're already inside. 
No excuses. The strong suspicion arose that you are harboring a member of the Resistance on the run. Rufus, what kind of mess is he in now? So, you admit your crime. He hasn't been harboring anyone. He just burst in. Go ahead. He's down in the cellar. Uh-oh. I have to think fast. It is written, our hero was smitten And rescued the maiden from impending doom On a horse made of steel, evil guys on his heels He rode with a girl into dawn's early gloom She awoke by his kiss, well at least more or less And the whole part concerning the uppercut scare Can be pinned at least to some extent On her damaged brain and plan Anyway, in a big picture, who's gonna care? Who's up? Who's gonna care? What a pain in the... Ooh, you really could make yourself a bit lighter, you know? Araba, flopa baba. Yeah, yeah, you don't say. From bad to worse, where are we anyway? Hey, that's the old junk mine rail system. Back in the day, it was used to transport heavy loads to the lower ascension station. Oh, sorry, babe. Don't take it personally. Now, I just need to find some kind of rail car and a way to get goal on it. Let's go! Tetanus-inducing rust and unsecured power cables as far as the eye can see. Oh, <laughs> time I got out of here. Ah! Oh. oh, that was quite a drop. Luckily, I fell onto the backbone of some poor sucker whose fall wasn't as lucky as mine. Ah, looky here. Seems like the bridge collapsed. Doesn't matter, though. It isn't the first bridge that I've torn down today. And gold. Oh, what am I going to do with gold now? Damn! Huh. The unconscious woman in peril is caught on the other side of the canyon, and this is a rusty old crane for loading wheel cars. Well, you don't have to be a genius to make the connection. Come on, now. Ah, nothing. Damn. No matter what awaits me behind it, I'm prepared. This is beyond repair. This is beyond repair. Let's throw it out. Huh. The unconscious woman in peril is caught on the other side. And this is a rusty... Oh, you don't have to be a genius. That thing loads junk into the mine lorry when it's here. Oh yeah, exactly the right carriage for my princess. I'll sit here. Uh, where will she sit? Check. Huh, nothing. I have to stop expecting quality craftsmanship everywhere. Well, what's missing here is a um, 
a plunger or a, I mean, a pistol, a, a plunge, a, 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 yeah, well, <clears throat> there's something missing. That much is clear to an expert. If I had planned to be a trash hunter, I would have stayed in Kuvak. In any case, I'm not going to rummage through there without good reason. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Whoa, who's that? Rusted rain pipe, chewing gum, some floss. Ah, this will make a magnificent prosthetic. Dum de dum de dum. One thing's for certain: this is not the key to eternal life. Hey, you! Come down from there. Oops. Ah, one leg's enough. <laughs> Too high. The box is screwed shut, as if a hex bolt could stop me. What naive dunces. It's real filthy. I can't make out anything. Where's Tony when you need her? Hi there. Huh? What? Oh! Hello! Who are you? Why do you want to know that? Are you a spy of the Organon? What? I d No! My name is Rufus. Yeah, I know I sometimes come across as enigmatic and threatening, but... <laughs> it was just a joke, Rufus. Of course you're not a spy, the way you're dressed and all. Huh? I'm Doc. Handyman, trash hunter, spare parts dealer, brain surgeon. I own a small store on the floating black market. You might know my slogan from the communal broadcasts. Machine head, proper head, all the same to me. Is it Doc? Da -da 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 -da. They call him Rufus. Yeah, I know that one. I'm a handyman myself. Ah! A colleague! Very good! What are you working on at the moment? <laughs> Roughly speaking, a plan to reach Elysium. Why, look at you! Daring to try the impossible! I like that! There's a man who doesn't get distracted by the impossibility of the task at hand! Exactly! One who'd rather risk a bloody nose before he accepts that he can't break through a wall with his head! Uh, yeah, I... Exactly. I like you, Rufus. Always towards the sun. And when the wings start melting, he makes sunglasses from the molten wax. Yeah, I'm a pretty cool guy. Spare parts and brain surgery? What a strange combination. You think so? I always thought that both professions are more or less in the same vein. Oh, I see. Like genius and madness. I'll take that as a compliment. But you're damn right. So what are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? Well, you look like a wombat ruffling through the trash hunting for food. I'm looking for spare parts. I knew that. Well, found anything yet? If you know what you want, you'll always reach your goal. Hey, that's my family's motto. Oh, no, wait. My family's motto was, it's enough to know how to light a fire. There will be others around who know how to operate an extinguisher. Is it far to the Lower Ascension Station? No, no, not at all. Great. It's right behind this mountain of trash. Grandissimo. Right behind the unbeatable mine maze. Terrific. Let's do a thought experiment, in case a fellow handyman would face a problem. Really, just hypothetical. Handymen don't know any problems, only challenges. Oh, my thoughts exactly, but Handymen help each other out when they face a challenge. No doubt about it. That's the second most important rule of the handyman's code. Right after, ne'er show thy nail gun to the other handyman's wife, lest he'll show you his at very close range. Yeah, uh, important rule. 
All right, shoot. What's the trouble? When the mine bike doesn't start, for example. You mean that rust bucket over there? What does it do? Well, it rattles a little, and then the engine dies. Ha <laughs> It would seem that the good old wing brake parallel shank is inverted on the horizontal axis inside the dorsal rump emanator once again, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, the uh, parallel shank. <laughs> you know, that always happens to me, too. You better be happy that it wasn't anything serious. That's no real problem for us handymen, right? No, of course not. I just wanted to get a second opinion. Why, really? How could there possibly be two different opinions about a thing like that? The avial power inverter is shot. And what a stroke of luck! I just found one! Here you go! Hey, Grace, this is exactly what I need. <laughs> Seemingly. Uh, what's wrong? Shall I help you fitting it, too? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Nonsense. Fitting an avio power thingy. I, I could do that in my sleep. Well, I did that once. The next morning, my wife left me. Since then, I've given up sleeping on water beds. Is there anything else? My girlfriend has a malfunctioning brain implant. You've come to the right place, then. It has to be destiny that our paths cross. Does that mean you can fix it? Of course I can. Perfect. But not here, I'm afraid. Oh. Just bring her to my practice on the floating black market tomorrow. Tomorrow, you say? Oh, crap. That's too late. No, no. You could walk about for weeks with a malfunctioning brain implant without any serious long-term damage. My wife managed to go about her business with a charred frontal lobe chip for two years. Two years? Yes. She could only speak gibberish. It's a shame that I didn't even notice. Is there anything else? My girlfriend is too heavy. Is that so? Well, I've just a piece of advice you need. Really? Yes. Keep your hands off women like that. All you'll accomplish is a strained pelvis. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Is there anything else? Nothing that I can't handle myself. Very well. You want a job done well, you do it yourself. DIY for the win. Is that booze? A handyman's best friend, yes. Steadies your hands and frees your mind. Lowers the inhibitions to get your hands close to rotating blades. And is as good a disinfectant as it is a painkiller. Go on, have some. There's enough for the both of us. You seem to know your way around women. Ha! You've said it. Why do you ask? A friend of mine knows this woman. He thinks that she's really got something. But? But, well, she's kind of engaged. Oh, my, Rufus. You sure know some weird people. Well, the situation isn't any more complicated than the assembly of a power inverter. As long as the mauve muff has to stay attached to the cubicle body, there will never be an avial power inverter with a mauve muff. Makes sense, eh? All right, what can I do to catch the attention of a woman who's already engaged? Well, there's no recipe for that. But if you ask me, I'd tell you to take the power inverter as an example. Four spokes, screws, two spokes, clamps. It's that easy. Uh, can a misunderstood but extremely laid-back guy from the wrong side of the tracks compete against a rich Elysian? Oh dear, it's always the same old story. Love may give you wings, but a dorsal power inverter still has more spokes on the bevel than a binausial one. That's just how things are. Do you think someone like me could get involved with a woman from Elysium? Oh, Rufus, like I always say, it's the same with women like it is with building a power inverter. You can attach a screw bushing to a spherical body, but never a clamp bushing to a cubicle one. Uh-huh. 
Ah, forget it. I know more about women than anyone else. I see. So you're a ladies' man, too? Well, I hope I could help you anyway. I have to get moving. Be safe. Always use goggles. And visit me on the floating black market in case we don't meet here again. Whoops. Oh, it's always the same with these uh, ravioli inverters. I, I hope it's still functional. Where's it gone? Oh, there, and there, and there. And here's another part that looks the same. Damn, what's supposed to be a part of it and what isn't? You can attach a screw bushing to a spherical body, but never a clamp bushing to a cubicle one. the mold muff has to stay attached to the cubicle body, there will never be an avial power inverter with a mold muff. A dorsal power inverter still has more spokes on the bevel than a binausial one. Four spokes, screws, two spokes, clamps. Ha! I can build a power inverter in my sleep. Off into the inventory with it. I wonder if I can assemble a second one. Not bad, Rufus. You're a natural. I'll just assemble the third one real quick. There! <laughs> I bet the doc couldn't have done it as brilliantly as me. And... Sit tight. Ha! I mean, uh, of course it does. It's a piece of cake for a pro. Let's give it a try. Like a kitten with asthma. A cool, exploding asthma kitten. Off we go! Yippee! Whoa, a lever! Woohoo! Wow, what a ride! I wonder where I am. Hey, wait a second. This looks exactly like the starting point, only I'm facing the other direction. Huh. They must have arranged the tracks symmetrically, or I must have gone in a circle. I knew this would happen. 